Hi everyone, I'm Gina from Fibers and Design. In this tutorial, I will show you how to dress the loom with using two or more colors. Let's get started. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some ideas that you can do when you're adding two, three, or four different colors to the warp. Now, adding these colors is just as simple as adding the first color when you're dressing the loom. Once you've decided what colors you're going to use for the warp, and you're going to use the same exact techniques as regular dressing the loom, and but in this case, the sections are going to be smaller or larger depending on um, what your method or design that you're going to be using. So after you've completed um, dressing, the, dressing a certain area, a certain width, then you're just going to go back and just tighten up the yarn to so make sure the tension is controlled, and then secure it with a knot, and then we'll add the next yarn. The final nail or tab used on the loom for the previous color, you're going to secure the next color to the same one. This will ensure that the spacing and the balance between the colors are kept. Once you've secured the second set of colors, um, you can go ahead and add on the third and the fourth set, and you're just always making sure that you check the tension and that the yarn is secured at the end. Next, I like to add a few rows of spacers. The spacers help make the yarn spread out a little bit and they help keep the warp straight when you first start weaving the first few rows of weft. Now, I'm guessing that if you want to add more colors to the warp yarns, this means that you want it to be more visible. So you would be creating a warped faced weave. Okay, so this means that when you're looking at the weaving, for most of it or in certain sections of the weaving, you will be able to see the warp yarns. It will be more visible. Um, and maybe in other sections, you're going to have a weft face weave. Okay, and this means that for the majority of that section, you can only see the weft yarns and the warp yarns are covered up. And I think that when you're using this kind of uh, design with multiple colored warp yarns, then this can be very interesting to mix between these two parts, right? Some areas have more of the weft color and the other have a warp color. And this can really create a nice contrast or harmony between the different sections. The pressure that you use to beat down the weft yarns also plays a role. As you can see here on the upper level, less pressure is used consistently and you can see more of the warp yarns than at the bottom where it was heavier. So how do you prepare your frame loom to be dressed with more than one color? A few things to consider before warping with different colors is the relationships that the colors have to each other and the second one is the amount of space for each color section. Now the key thing here to keep in mind is think about the sections. What areas do you want to be color one? And which sections do you want to be color two? Um, what kind of pattern are you going to create? Is it going to be color one and then color two and the colors will alternate? Or are you just going to have a stripe of color two? It's up to you to decide how you want your pattern to be. Especially if you're going to be alternating between weft facing and warp face um, patterns, then it's important that you think about this ahead of time. You can still be really creative when you're working with just two colors on the warp. Um, for example, if you do stripes, alternating stripe colors, this could be interesting. Or if you have everything to be one color, but then a color stripe down the middle or off the center, it can also be really interesting with just two warp colors. Now, if you're going with three, then maybe you want to limit or be cautious about the color pattern. On one of the videos I have um, creating your own color palette, um, here I lay out the relationships between different colors, especially the basic colors, but this can give you a good idea for, or your first impressions about how to mix different colors. When working with two colors, there's not too much contrast, but once you start adding in a few more colors to the color palette, then it starts to get a little interesting. And the same thing goes for the fourth color as well. The same techniques that we're talking about today for adding um, warp that's with different colors, uh, two, three, or four colors, the same thing can be done with yarns of different texture. If you have a special type of yarn, maybe not this one, but if you have a yarn, an art yarn, or a yarn that's heavily textured, then this could create something very interesting in your weaving, right? So if you have a stripe or several stripes of this texture throughout the pattern or throughout the warp, this could be something visually interesting. 
Okay, but I think I'll talk about this more in another video, um, but just something else to think about. Now let's check out a design idea for dressing the loom with two colors. Here I'm just taking some roving and I'm picking up a few rows of the warp just so that I can show off the texture and color and slowly just pulling some through. Um, I kind of started this off with a twill pattern but then I just kind of went really loose with it because I really wanted to show the thickness um, and texture of the, the roving. Now what I'm going to do here next is I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more and kind of clean it up um, so that you can see more of the warp yarns. So you can kind of play with using between um, very loose roving um, rows and then also very organized ones as well. As mentioned before, when working with more than one color, not only do you have to balance the color, but also the sections and the weight of each section. Let's take a look at some ideas for warp with three colors. Warp yarns can hide and expose the warp, which can create visual interest. You can cover warp in one color section, but later show it in another, which can create a pattern. And finally, let's take a look at a design idea for warp with four colors. The tool pattern is a great pattern to use for showing bits and pieces of the warp. If you don't want it to show off too much, but you still want to have the color peep through, then this could be a good start to showing off the warp color. Remember that density plays a huge role in weaving, and when you're trying to show off more of the warp, you don't want to push the yarn down too hard. Another great way to show off the warp color is by using a spacer. Once you've added a spacer to the weaving um, and you continue the weaving, later you can remove the spacer and it will expose the warp yarns. And this can make a really great effect, visual effect um, in your weaving. I hope that this video was helpful for you and that it's given you a few ideas for dressing the loom with more than one color. If you have any ideas or suggestions for adding different colors on the frame loom, then please leave a comment down below and share your ideas. If you're interested about adding more color to the loom, then please check out my website and check out the weaving color section. Here I have a few different ideas for weaving with colors with design. Thank you so much for watching and if this video was helpful for you then please leave a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos on weaving. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!